there are just gems on every table. And I think it's just, I describe it as, you know, Foster King for gems. One of the, every one of these distributors is going to find a South Australian wine gem and take that with them. And I think that's, uh, that's to me is really exciting. I have. I think McLaren Bale has almost what got me pretty much into South Australian wine, I would say. For me, it was really about the fact that there was no pretense to what McLaren Bale does. I fell in love with that story of growing what makes sense in a very specific area and not having to stick to the typical varietals of you know, Cabernet Sauvignon and Shiraz, which I know a lot of people do. We just wanted to champion the next generation of growers and really embody what McLaren Vale is trying to do. I have, uh, first time to McLaren Vale. Uh, been through Adelaide a couple of times, Lahong Creek, uh, Adelaide Hills. So it's good to be back. South Australia is definitely a place that they tend to visit and go on holidays, uh, specifically to the wine region. Singaporeans love their wines and they love bold, fruity wines. So I do notice that uh, a lot of them you know, are familiar with some of the, the, the labels that we may have on our shelves and they're very excited when they see those. South Australian wine generally is well known. Uh, predominantly you have Adelaide Hills, Barossa and Kunawara. McLaren is up and coming. It's a little lesser known in that sense. Um, but, well, that's why we're here, right? We call ourselves the next generation of wine importers or distributors there. Um, sort of want to shift the narrative and make sure that everybody is not drinking what your dad or your grandfather drinks anymore. And this is sort of a very good opportunity for us to showcase that. Every country is different. You don't quite know what you're getting yourself into and everything like that. Relationships are everything. Communication um, helps to facilitate that. Today, uh, small steps and whatnot. Hopefully, the bigger and better things in the future. We had a really great response when we went to uh, Vin Expo in Hong Kong in 2019, uh, but we've had to bide our time, so we're really excited to, you know, hopefully open up some doors uh, in Asia because it's, uh, you know, a market we think our wines will go well in. The Asia Pacific region is really the engine of global economic growth at the moment and there's certainly from a number of trips that I've gone to the region recently, there's certainly still a lot of opportunity there. So it's going to be really great to connect with some key distributors in, in key markets from the South Australian Wine Ambassadors Program. I really hope that these importers that come and are part of the Ambassadors Club can um, taste the differences and the flavours of each producer but also where they come from and I hope they see that we're as good and if not better than, than our European counterparts. <laughs>